Welcome to the Innovation Coffee Break. Today, I would like to introduce you to another electrifying topic, highest dynamic motor simulation based on the latest FPGA hardware. Today, I will refer to a real customer application for testing of a belt-driven starter generator system. As you may know, in a conventional car, the generator has mainly the function of providing power for the 12-volt electrical system of the vehicle. In this mild hybrid application, it has been replaced by an inverter-controlled three-phase motor. This setup also includes a 12-volt DC-DC converter and a 48-volt battery. And today, we'll focus at the test of the inverter, and in future Coffee Break presentation, we will show you this best solution for testing DC-DC converter and battery management systems. Inverter for e-drive application can be tested, of course, in a real car or at mechanical level, at power level with real currents, or at signal levels without power electronics. For signal level and power level approach, a realistic simulation can be achieved only if the HIL system operates at a much higher sampling rate than the PWM carrier frequency of the device on the test. Only with this high dynamic, it is possible to simulate high mechanical speeds and the associated even higher electrical frequencies. With our oversampling strategies, we provide quasi-continuous current output without any delay. As you can see, the simulated current is nearly equal to the real current. Let me now show you the hardware setup used for this approach. The device on the test, located in this SEU box, has been prepared especially for signal level approach. So, SEU internal signals, like gate driver signals, are now available for the HIL system. Here is the core of our simulation, our real-time system. This compact solution, our lab box, contains our powerful processing unit, a multi-IO card, a bus card for simulation of vehicle bus and measurement bus, and of course, our free programmable FPGA hardware. Let me now show you the model used for this implementation. Our models are implemented in the MATLAB simulating environment. We use, therefore, the block-based approach. As you can see here in the FPGA model, we use an induction motor in the Q-frame for the generator. In the same model, we have as well an inverter implementation, mechanics, position sensor, in this case, a sign encoder. All those components are available in our XSJ electric components library. It pro provides a wide range of ready-to-use FPGA closed-loop component, which can be easily added to FPGA design just via drag and drop from the library. Having a look under the mask, you can see that our library are based on an open implementation. Based on this and the deliberate documentation, you can easily implement similar design or even change the design to fit your test easily. The library provides by the same on the processor side interface for the parameterization of the components. As you can see here, the parameter for the electrical machines. This ensures flexibility for future application. So just by changing the parameter sets, you can use the same model for testing of a motor for a hard disk drive or even up to the traction motor of a high-end sports car. Let me now start the engine and an automated test drive.
As you can see, SEO functionality can be easily tested. One key point of the simulation is, of course, the internal state of the motor. For example, the motor currents. Those can be visualized using our FPGA multiscope. Measurement can be triggered by events related to the recorded signals or even from an external trigger source. Look at this. The time resolution for this measurement is about 8 nanoseconds. You can extend the time range by using a downsampling factor. Let me summarize the key points of our FPGA-based model simulation. First of all, it is easy. With our XSJ libraries, we provide fully open and ready-to-use FPGA implementation for electric drives application. With our multiscope, you can monitor FPGA internal signals at FPGA rates. Our FPGA simulation operates at a very high sampling rate, so the, switch, the simulation of switching effects can be easily achieved. We can implement very high flexible drives application. By the way, the same software and hardware used in this application can be used later on for the test at power level. Please have a look into our recordings to see how we use our model for the power level approach. Thank you for following this Coffee Break presentation. If you have any question or are interested in our solution, please get in touch with us and we'll be happy to help you. Goodbye and stay healthy. DSpace, your partner in simulation and validation.